Criticade! Welcome to Criticade, as seen on the Criticade. Cringe channel. <laughs> Do you think we could make it to our cringe? <laughs> I would oh help our God. channel a lot. <laughs> Do you think if we posted our videos ourselves on r slash cringe, <laughs> we'd get attention? I would love that. I, I'd love for the like the best. one comment, the comments that are like, the comments that are like, like, oh, they're not so bad. I'd be like, aww. <laughs> <laughs> turns out we get none of those. So Star Wars Rogue uh, One. Yeah, Rogue by, One. By uh, a hack of a director. It's, What's no. his name? Uh, oh, fuck. I hate him. I hate him so much. I think he's terrible. What's his name? Shit. shit. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, put the put the director yeah, of, put it of up, Rogue Jacob. One on the screen. I, I, I have... Gareth Edwards. Oh, okay. Yeah. Put Gareth Edwards anyway. <laughs> is a fucking hack. Really? Uh, you think that? I think... I haven't seen his first film, Monster. Okay. But I Godzilla can't. and Rogue One are the two worst uh, movies that were really... You could tell were really, really trying to be good that I've ever seen. So really? bad. Uh, I, I don't think Rogue One was that bad. I think Rogue One is... I think it's okay. ...abysmal. I don't think there no. are... I, I think it's, like, pretty good. Like... Ugh. That's an opinion. <laughs> that is an opinion. But it, so is yours. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, anyway, why do you think that Rogue One is, is so abysmal? Well... Because uh, you have points, and yes. they are good. I... The characters receive little to no introduction. And that's the biggest point. The, really? the thing about Star Wars is the thing that sets it apart from every other generic ass space movie is that it has fantastic characterization. It does. Yeah. And Rogue One is just a generic time. space action movie because their characters are fucking garbage. Jin Erso I wouldn't say has garbage. no personality other than she's feisty, she's a rebel. Uh, and everyone, literally everyone, except for, like, the rebel base, but then she gives, like, a big shitty speech to, is, like, you're the most important girl in the galaxy, Jyn Erso. Um, like, like, they're, like, uh, the Death Star, it's, like, you need to be the most important girl in the galaxy to, to defeat the Death Star. And then she's, like, she's, like, I am the code. I am the Death Star killer. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. And then, and then Cassium, who I didn't know his name until I looked it up after the film, because they sure. said it once. That that's no, a problem. They said it more than once. They said it maybe three times. You, you made film. that criticism, and then I counted. Like it was like, uh, it was like six times during the movie that they. I I actively, because I I missed it, what his name was the first time. Sure. And that was my bad. Yeah. Uh, so I made sure for the rest of the movie that I paid super close attention. They do say to it. to all of the characters. Yeah. Uh. And uh, and and when they say their names, they say they. I don't think they ever say the two uh, personalityless are uh, like buddy bro guys. They're not personalityless. They have they have one character trait each. They do not. Well, well like, I, I, I like the force. And they they have, it's like I like a gun. They have character traits, but they they have more than just that, and they they explore different shades of that main character trait. It's still, they're not characters. Yeah, they're just they archetypes. Are. They're, they're still, it's like, so what? An archetype oh, can I'm, be a character. I'm, I believe in mysticism. Yeah, so I what? don't believe in mysticism, but we are friends. So what? Luke Skywalker is the generic ass, I'm a hero, but I don't know it yet type. Who cares? But that's, Archetypes can still be But he be still has characters. a character to him. Yeah, they have characters Na too. They have give, me some character, give, me, give me some character traits of them. The character trait of... I don't know their names, because you're right about that. But the the guy who wields the big gun, yeah. he starts off being someone who used to be a believer in the Force, a guard for uh, the order that they worked for, yeah. and then lost faith, admittedly, when the Jedis were all killed. Yeah. And then he comes back at the end uh, through seeing his friend make the ultimate sa self-sacrifice. Not any magical, mystic powers, but the fact that his friend would sacrifice his life for the mission makes him believe again and makes it able for him to fight on. But that has nothing to do with the force. That's a character arc. Because he watched, a lot to do with he the just force. watched his friend die. Yes, and it turned him into a believer of a mystical Why? force. Why? Because his friend's like, I believe in the force. And then he walks out in the middle this of a field and gets shot have, with a million guns. This might have more to do with you being an atheist. Then oh, <laughs> oh, don't even do that. It, yeah, because mysticism has a point in stories at the very least. Oh, it does. Absolutely. Yeah. When it's done well. And, that and there was, are Star Wars that novels that was, where it's done well. I think that was done well. I, I just, I really think that they did a good job with that. Okay, then what's, then what's the, what's Chirrut, the guy with the stick who believed in the forest? What's his arc? 
Um, you, you're more right about him. He doesn't have as he doesn't really have that Jump. much of an arc. By he does. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, he, yeah, he, you're right about that. He doesn't have a huge arc other than to be there for his friend and to be there for everyone else. He's more the the mystic sage type where yeah. he gives advice and wisdom to the other characters. What about the, the pilot? Uh, Brody. The, yeah. The his personality is, I'm a pilot. His personality is that he was a traitor to um, the Empire, and he learns to Why? live on the wild. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> they do give a reason. Barely. It's because he gets so like, like it's, it's an ensemble cast. Boy. You can't expect yes, you each can. One. Yes, no, you can. You don't you, have to. You though. can't just. You can't just straw man argument out fucking good character. Straw man argument. That's that's not right. That wasn't <laughs> the right term for that. You can't just argue. You don't need good characters in a movie. I'm not saying that you don't need good characters. I'm saying that not every character has to be fully fleshed out for an ensemble cast. I. I don't agree. Okay, that's fine. That's that's if it's a minor minor character, but these this is Rogue One. This is our team. Also, the name drop was worse than Suicide Squad. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it was not. Yes, it was. <laughs> and no one <laughs> ever like, just hates like, things. What is this? Some kind of Suicide Squad? A literal military term that makes sense in context. It is a name drop, and it's cringy. It's a cringy But it name makes drop. sense. It does, and you have to admit that. It, it, uh, there's there's backing to it. It technically makes sense, yes. But, but there is no reason for him to go, Rogue One. There is. There's totally a reason. They, like they've what? Just, they've just mentioned that they are rogues, and their plane doesn't have a name yet, and he's trying to think of something to give to them. So he calls himself the Rogue. The Rogue what number? Rogue One, because there is no other Rogue number. You sound like one of those conspiracy theorists from South Park. No, I do not. Yes, you do. You fucking You're asshole. just connecting that's, that's fucking... That's the actual fucking reason for why they named it Rogue either One. Way. Either way. Another point about why the movie that's sucks... That's the canonical reason. You can't fucking it's say stupid. that I'm making it It's a it stupid canonical reason. A dead end? Okay. Uh, the plot of Rogue Game One is a dead end. end. <laughs> uh, so... The movie is set up as a as a prequel to Star Wars Episode Four. I hate Hope. that. I, I do hate that. Uh, and I I knew oh, I knew going in wow, that there I'm would be idiot. people that didn't know that that just regular people would who aren't Star Wars fans would just see this movie, and I judged oh. it off of itself as a film in in the Star Wars because people are familiar with Star Wars. That's yeah. that's part of our our, our, our lexicon of, of of knowledge as a society. Sure. So so the basic facts about Star Wars, taking those in when they revealed that the movie was a prequel within the film itself. It was an hour in. The, uh, the first time they, they said, we're killing the Death Star. They're building a Death Star. It was an hour into the film. Okay. And that is the basic setup of the plot is this is a prequel and it's about the, uh, taking down the Death Star. Yeah. And it, because of that, it doesn't function That's as a... That's a weird criticism. For normies. You're, you're saying that they focused too much on... Uh, setting up characterization and uh, original they didn't plot though. Before. They just they just had weird bad action sequences <sighs> that didn't work because you didn't care I, about the okay. characters. I, I, when 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 Luke, Han, and Leia are escaping from the Death Star, you already know exactly how they are because they really set them up and they made you care about them. And they, they, they yeah. And Han Solo is a punkish rogue, and and Leia is a is a is a sassy little princess, and and uh. Luke is in way over his head, but he's, he's trying his best. Jin Erso is just the most important girl in the galaxy. No, 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 no. She has, she sets up, she's set up as a girl who made herself and survived by herself yeah, in the universe they tell without you that. anyone else. They tell you that. No, they say the other they things say like that. that. See, they set it up with other things like the scene where she has to uh, survive in the hole with against the, the stormtroopers and everything by herself. That, and and you, you understand that she's going to... You understand that from that point in her life, she's going to have to live on her own. I guess. That's, that's but, a but show, not a tell. And Barely, but they don't show her turning into into the rogue. She's just a little show girl. They hours, but they, it's, you they know, tell it's you, set up. They tell you that she's, that she's a, a, scrappy, a scrappy little rogue. They uh, say I, that I to the audience. They, they it's say below, it, too. Or not. Maybe it's not. Yeah, this thing is right here. I oh, no. Press the button. Oh, come on! Don't make me do this level uh, try, again. Try below, try below, try below. Come on, oh, come my on. God, oh my God! 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 Oh my
right there? No, where the fuck is it? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I up for a second. Hey, everybody, we're back. Welcome. Uh, my final point about Rogue One is that I hate it, and I think it's an <laughs> awful film, and Godzilla is worse. Uh, yeah, comment. Gareth Edwards does not deserve to be able to direct comment. movies and franchise that I like. <laughs> Make your arguments against Robert in the comments. Go for it. I mean, like, seriously, just because obviously we like arguing and debating and criticizing. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead. Throw your voice into the conversation. We'll listen. Olivia, I know you're watching. We've had this <laughs> argument before. Just, just I know shoot you, me, yeah. boy. Uh, boy yeah. I side more with Olivia. I don't think it's, like, a great movie. Yeah. It doesn't even, like... I think, I think unpopular opinion, I think Force Awakens was better uh, than, than Rogue One. Yeah, duh. But, <laughs> Force Awakens but, is a good film. But, but It's yeah, well it's, made. It, it is. A lot of people hate it, though. They, I know there's a lot of hate. There's on it. one argument for why yeah, people don't like it. There's one argument. It's, it's kind of. It's exactly <laughs> like the, the new home. Yeah, <laughs> and, and for anyone who says that, uh, Robert's mocking tone isn't helping my argument. But uh, <laughs> that that's a that's a false no, argument. No, if you it's think a, that it's a parallel. If you think that you're a bandwagon following piece of human garbage. <laughs> that, that's a band. That's a bandwagon argument. I don't actually um, think that. Uh, your opinions. <laughs> well, are valid. it kind of is a bandwagon argument. Though. It is a bandwagon argument. The, the stories parallel one another, but they are definitely not exactly the same. And yeah. if you say Starkiller is a Death Star, I will slap you. Because that's just it's, not... It's a parallel. It's a parallel. It's a, and, and, and the thing From is, a block. It, canonically, if you are the First Order and you and you've, you've really set up your army and you wa you're, you're trying to set yourself up as Ow. the Empire but better, yeah. what would you do? You, you would you take on... Yeah. You take on their biggest project... What they did, the the the, the wow. their most famous for is the huh? Death Star. Yeah. And you do do it one better. Right. Right. And they did kind of succeed. They, they blew up like eight planets. Sure. I mean that's more than the Death Star did. Yeah. So you know, fuck you. <laughs> so they raised a, a whole hell, and but it was just a very different plot. It is. Yeah, it's a very different. But plot. it had parallels it, because. But because it's it a good to. thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. It being similar to, to, it, to it episode brought, four isn't bad at all. No, it, it brought fans back, like fans who were disenfranchised. It brought them back. And they had great, interesting characters that you want to know more about. Yeah, I, I'm super excited for Last Jedi. Me too. Yeah. I I think it looks good. I I do too. Uh. Um, I'm actually kind of excited for, for young Han Solo because I want to see a good Star Wars spinoff. Yeah, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Uh, it comes out next summer. The the Han Solo spinoff? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, it's the, the guy who looks uh, who they cast it looks, right. looks a lot like a young Harrison Ford, too. Yeah. So it's good. In the I forget, forget his name. Put, I, name on screen. Put a picture of him on screen. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. He doesn't look anything like well, him. <laughs> <laughs> Put, like, a black woman on the screen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I, I don't... I don't know how to open these containers, right. and it's a... <laughs> Just kill me. Just kill me now. It's okay, guys. Leave a comment below about how stupid I am, because I, I get it. This, this is going to be a really fun. contentious episode. This is going to be a contentious episode. They all are. I, I oh. hate this level. Um, but I I'm gonna. I I'm actually planning on reading both both uh, Rogue One prequel novels. Really? And I will I will come back after after reading both of those and then watching the film again on my own. Oh, okay. Uh, and analyzing it. Sure. Uh, with a with a full picture, uh, yeah, Rogue, what, like what what, what Lucas is. arts Lucasfilm intended, yeah, sure for Rogue One, sure. Uh, uh yeah, I, I recently guess. have almost finished Star Wars: The Clone Wars, and I really like it. Oh, really? The, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the TV series. Yeah, I actually like Darth Maul. I know you don't like I don't. Uh, Darth Maul coming back. I don't. I like him a lot. I thought it was I thought it was dumb how they did it mostly. Uh, just how he came back as a big scary robot just, man. He was dead for a very long time. Like, like he was a half a person for a very long time, surviving on his own. It's just stupid. Well, he used the force to bring together a little spider body. Man, I just hate that. I just think it's, I think it's dumb. I think it's like one of the worst ways to retcon a character being being dead. That said, well, I, he don't, fell I don't. I don't do a trash shoot. I know. So I don't. He ended up on a trash planet. I don't like. Yeah. I don't. I don't like bringing characters back from the dead. Anyway. Oh, true. I think. I think it's cheesy and dumb. Mm -hmm. And so I like, that's a lot where. I like how they have a canon Star Wars character named Savage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is so I funny. Can't. It's clearly is there an not upgrade there. I'm supposed to get to be able to dig into these safes. I want to say yes. Because that sounds right. I tried. Have you have you checked about for it? I. Do you remember? Dancing in September. This game is so unhelpful. I hate you. Ah! Just 
<laughs> Just take it easy. Yellow man. floor. <laughs> it's yellow. It's the yellow floor. Thanks, guys. I don't like this game. I don't either. Sonic is it stupid? Sonic is stupid. <gasps> There's one right there. Sonic's ugly. Cock, don't die. Don't die. I have no rings. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hate it. I That's hate my impression of, uh, of Jared Leto's lap from Suicide Squad. And normally I'd appreciate it, but fuck. <laughs> God damn it, this game. Oh, man. Is this, this hot and cold. I, I'm, I'm, play, I'm playing hide and seek. I, I'm playing fucking Marco Polo with a fucking gem. Yeah. What is this? This isn't a game. This it is a game. Fucking hide and seek's work. a game. I'm, Marco Polo's a game. They're bad games. I didn't think it was a fun game. Fuck you. <laughs> they're, they're fun with people, with other people who are competing against you and can have agency and can uh, work against your own thinking. I was that hide kid in something. hide and seek that I'd hide in a really, really cool spot where I could see the person who's looking. Yeah. And then when they passed me, I'd go hide in a spot they already looked in. That's my <laughs> strategy if you ever play hide and seek with me. <laughs> That's smart. There's no rule against switching spots. Exactly. Yeah. It's called being Savage. <laughs> <laughs> Savage is a is an <laughs> awesome name. It's, I love it. It's stupid. I know, but I still like I still like it a little bit. Uh huh. Uh, You're not like, gonna win. No, I'm not. Kind of like Death Star. Death Star is a dumb name. Objectively. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> uh, my favorite my favorite Star Wars book uh, so far is Star Wars Lost Stars by Claudia Gray, and okay. it's about it's about uh, it's it's a Romeo and Juliet story about about uh, a a Empire uh, commander and a rebel soldier who defected from the Empire. Okay, and it's 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 beautiful story honestly. Sure. Uh, and so <laughs> the excuse that they're like they're like thought it was pretty weird that they called it Death Star, but I I didn't see any qualms with it. <laughs> 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 it's so good because it's just so on the nose. There's it's like there's nothing you could say because because it's like it's like <laughs> for the people in the empire that think that it's good. Yeah. There's no ex proper excuse that you could be like, oh yeah, Death Star. That's yeah. Good. <laughs> it was like you know it was like an executive de decision where they're like, we need something snappy. We're gonna call it the Death Star. <laughs> and like there's a stormtroopers like I, I don't I don't fucking know about that, guys. <laughs> it sounds we should dumb. call it the the the, <laughs> the murder machine. <laughs> Guys, the Boy Slayer. Guys, why don't why don't we just the elementary it? school murderer? <laughs> Have you seen? There was recently uh, with with The Rock. There was a, yes. a Saturday Night Live sketch no. where they're like, um, where there was like, what the fuck is happening? Oh, he got covered in his goopy too. <laughs> the the whole sketch was like, um, they were there was a like an evil super villain meeting, and they're like, build the most evil machine in the world. And some guys like, I built a shrink ray to steal the Statue of Liberty. No, there's one on, there's one on the top up, up to is the there? right. Yeah. And the other girl's like, um, I built a freeze ray to freeze people and cake over the world. And then The Rock comes out and he's like, uh, I built a machine that the right, molests the right. children. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's <they're> awful. awful. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Oh, oh, I'm, I still have stuff. Cool. Continue your story that we might have to that's cut it. out. <laughs> no, that, it's just, that, that's it. It's not funny. Yeah, it's super funny. Because that's an actually evil machine. That is an evil <laughs> machine. You're yeah, right, yeah. Exactly, that's the whole joke. Like, n nothing else was evil. That's that's objectively a bad machine. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I guess. So there you go. I guess the evil was inside us the whole time. <laughs> Just That's the moral of the Sonic uh, Sonic Adventure <laughs> 2 dark playthrough. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we're, we're evil. Things that are dark are evil, according to Sonic Team. Yeah, like Sha Shadow's not really evil, is he? No, he's an anti-hero. Yeah. Like Spawn. But he, but he works with Egg... Well, yeah, but he works with Eggman. <laughs> Shadow, Spawn, same guy. Same guy. Where did you say, what did you say was on the left or the right? Well, they switch places when you die. Right, I forgot that. Well... Just like we're going to switch places when you die. <laughs> I'm going to wear your skin. What? Wait, why? What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did I say that out loud? I didn't uh, actually mean to. Why do you to. want my life, though? <laughs> That's the part I don't understand. Oh. What the fuck? You know. Fuck, man. She's too cute. I think you're cute. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> weird. <laughs> weird. <gasps> God has smiled upon me. Thank you, Ken Penders. Ken Penders <laughs> truly giveth and taketh away. <laughs> Ken Penders. <laughs> I want to smooch you. Did you restart the timer after you paused it when we paused? No, I, I no. I didn't. Well, but that's whatever. We we beat the level. That's that's good. You know, yeah. Episode. That's that's our episode. Yeah. We talked about Rogue One. Ugh, for way too Sorry. long. Sorry. <laughs>